Bank of Uganda Legal Council, Titus Mulindwa, and State Minister for Internal Affairs, Obiga Kania, revealed that Uganda faces sanctions by the UN Security Council if Parliament does not pass the Anti-Terrorism Amendment Bill 2017 by 28th February. <laughs> <laughs> the minister and the central bank official had appeared before the Parliamentary Committee on Defense and Internal Affairs. If the banks are denied international transactions with their colleagues outside, we are going to cause a huge, huge problem for this country. In addition, just to the delay, yes, the delay is there. Uganda passed the anti-terrorism law in 2002 after the twin bombings in the U.S. on 11th September 2001. The law has since been amended twice in 2015 and 2016. The U.N. Security Council, through the Financial Action Task Force, wants the new amendments to criminalize the funding of terrorism and also restrict international travel for individuals planning, preparing and participating in terrorism activities. So the only other additional change that's being made is to criminalize the, the foreign terrorist fighters and to ensure that all acts that are criminalized under the uh, 1999 Terrorism Financing Convention are also brought within uh, Section 7 of the Act. We realize that we are under a tight deadline as a committee because according to the international community, most of the countries have already fulfilled their obligation by including the required sections in their national laws. Some committee members objected to the clause in the amendments covering suspected terrorists, arguing that government could use the law to intimidate or harass the opposition. Don't you think these other our colleagues from the opposition, they would simply say, when they change the definition from individual terrorists, and now they are calling it suspected terrorists, no. they are targeting to the security personalities. Our colleagues should really not fear, <coughs> including ourselves who should not fear. Mm. You, by the way, we are talking of other side, but we can be ourselves terrorists if you do any of these things the way it is defined here. If Uganda does not comply and pass the law by 28th February, Uganda's commercial banks could be blocked from transacting outside Uganda. Funding and technical support by donors, including the World Bank and IMF, could be frozen and travel bans imposed on Uganda's top political leaders. Uganda remains a target of terrorism activities, especially from the radical Al-Shabaab militants in Somalia, who are opposed to Uganda's peacekeeping role under the African Union umbrella. Uganda suffered its worst terror attack in July 2010, where over 70 people were killed and scores injured. The Al-Shabaab claimed responsibility. The committee has now been given a task to further study this bill, come up with a comprehensive report next week, which will be tabled before the House for members to take a verdict on whether to pass or drop this bill. Hubbard Zua, NTV at Parliament.